At the top of the US Open leaderboard is the Englishman Matthew Fitzpatrick after a fantastic week of play. After starting his professional golfing career only eight years ago, this impressive golfer just clinched one of the majors, winning the 2022 US Open along with a cool $3.2 million in prize money. How did this 27-year-old golfer from England make his way to his very first victory on American soil? Here's the incredible story of Matthew Fitzpatrick's journey to the top. Welcome to Golf Links. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get notifications on new video drops. It's only fitting that we start with the story of Matthew Fitzpatrick's incredible win at the 2022 US Open. It's June 2022, and the hype in the golf world surrounds Matthew Fitzpatrick. The 27-year-old Sheffield star was crowned his first ever major at the US Open, and as you all may already know, he's no stranger to playoffs and single-shot victories. His brilliant Sunday play was able to fend off any possible challenge posed by Scotty Scheffler and Will Zalatoris to clinch the title. He did so in a spectacular fashion. With six holes to go in the final round, he was a single shot behind Will Zalatoris. Draining a massive 50-foot putt had him tied, and with four holes remaining, he was two shots clear of everyone else. His unreal fairway bunker shot from the left side bunker on 18 will be replayed for decades. He got it in the worst place possible off the tee, regrouped, calmed his nerves, and hit the best shot of his life to secure victory. He had hit a remarkable 17 of 18 greens in regulation in the final round. The only two other players to do this in a major were Nick Faldo at the Masters in 1996 and Brooks Kepka at the US Open at Aaron Hills. Scotty Scheffler played up to his standards and tried to keep the heat on, but he couldn't catch him. Fitzpatrick won at the same place he won his US amateur title, a 2013 victory at the Country Club in Brooklyn, Massachusetts. Matthew Fitzpatrick saved the best shot of the weekend, hitting the green from the fairway bunker on 18 and draining two putts to secure the title. Will he be able to defend his title next year at the US Open held for the first time at the Los Angeles Country Club? You can't ignore the role of family in Matthew's outstanding success at Brookline. More specifically, the British golfer's brother, Alex Fitzpatrick, has always been loud about supporting his older brother's meteoric rise to fame. He caddied for him during his victory at the 2013 Amateur. However, Alex thought that Matthew's chance of winning the US Open was down to zero and left the course to fly to his house in North Carolina. Maybe he couldn't just stand the thought of seeing his brother disappointed at yet another missed opportunity to win a major. However, the plane had barely landed when Alex realized that Matthew was still in the race and he made an instant U-turn that had him traveling more than 600 miles back to Massachusetts to watch his brother make the historic win. A 90-minute drive from the airport and $150 to make the trip back were small prices to pay for a chance to give his brother a bear hug after the win. Matthew Fitzpatrick's success on the ground he had won his US amateur title meant that he would become only the second golfer aside from Jack Nicholas ever to record such a feat. He also gets to walk away with a mind-blowing $2.5 million. It doesn't end there for the youngster. Matthew Fitzpatrick also shot himself into the top 10 in the world golf rankings. Before his recent major success, Matthew Fitzpatrick had, however, recorded underwhelming play at the majors. At the Masters Tournament in 2016, he finished high for seventh place, which was impressive. But in the US Open that same year, Matthew Fitzpatrick tied for 54th. In the PGA Championship in 2016, he could only muster a tied for 46th spot. In 2017, Matthew Fitzpatrick finished 32 at the Masters Tournament, which was far worse compared to his 2016 outing. In 2020, he only qualified for a single major tournament. 2021 was a run of similar unimpressive outings, however, in 2022, he was tied for 14 at the Masters Tournament which was a significant turnaround compared to his last four outings. Matthew Fitzpatrick's fifth place finish at the PGA Championship in 2022 was his best in over five years. With his conquest at the US Open, Matthew Fitzpatrick can quiet the critics, at least for the moment. This is a story worth telling again and again, but how did he get to this point? Born in Sheffield, England on the 1st of September 1994, Matthew Thomas Fitzpatrick's incredible career run began at 18 when he won the 2012 Boys Amateur Championship in England. This special talent was able to qualify for the 2013 Amateur Open Championship. He proceeded to clinch the silver medal, which was an impressive feat for the young man. In 2013, Matthew Fitzpatrick won the US Amateur in Brooklyn, and that meant he was eligible to begin his professional career without the hurdles of a Q school, which is undoubtedly most golfers' nightmare. 
He was the first Englishman to win the U.S. Amateur in over 100 years. The win also has the English golfer achieve the top spot in the World Amateur Golf Ranking. He maintained that spot for 21 weeks. Matthew Fitzpatrick began his professional career when he participated in the 2014 Irish Open. He made several appearances at European and Challenge Tours on the back of the tournament and sponsor invitations. This legend joined the European Tour Qualifying School in 2014, and his 11th place finish meant he was eligible to play on the 2015 European Tour. Although he began the 2015 season in a not-so-spectacular fashion, when he missed six cuts out of eight tournaments, he still clinched an impressive second-place finish at the Omega European Masters, just a single shot behind the eventual winner. Matthew Fitzpatrick also grabbed a third-place finish at the Lioness Open. His run at the Omega European Masters in July 2015 meant he could go home with a massive 300,000 euros. That's definitely a lot of cash. He clinched the British Masters title in October 2015 at Woburn in England. His first win landed him a mouth-watering 500,000 pounds in prize money. He finally broke into the top 100 players in the world. His debut season ended with a single trophy, a top 10 finish on nine separate occasions, and an incredible 12th spot on tour. Matthew certainly had a rookie season that would make anyone proud. 2016 would also turn out to be a fruitful one for Matthew Fitzpatrick. He finished tied in 7th position at the 2016 Masters Tournament. His second professional win came at the 2016 Nordia Masters. His victories and consistent play in 2015 and 16 were enough to land him a coveted spot in the 2016 Ryder Cup. At the DP World Tour in December 2020, he got the better of Lee Westwood by a single shot to win the tournament in Dubai for the second time in his career. 2021 was, however, not so spectacular season for Matthew Fitzpatrick. He also was on the losing end of the 2021 Ryder Cup as Europe lost to the United States team. He was beat by Daniel Berger in the single matches on Sunday. He has yet to win a single match at the Ryder Cup, but he has been seriously consistent year after year. He's made the last two Ryder Cup European teams, won seven times in the European Tour, and has steadily maintained a top 50 world ranking for the past several years. He has also had quite an interesting love life. He's currently in a five-year relationship with Lydia Kasada after an unsuccessful one with the Ukrainian tennis star Denise Kazanuik. His steady love has been his dog Charlie, who's a 13-year-old golden retriever. Matthew Fitzpatrick has an estimated net worth of $10 million. Aside from prize monies from tournaments, Matthew Fitzpatrick has endorsement deals with Protoviti, Rolex Watch, Bertinardi, and Titleist. He recently signed a mouthwatering deal with Castor, which means we'll be seeing more of him wearing their clothing at tournaments. Matthew Fitzpatrick presently has two homes. He resides in his hometown, Sheffield, England, and Jupiter, Florida in the United States. Matthew Fitzpatrick is definitely a strong contender for more titles. We'll keep our fingers crossed to see what he has to offer in the Open Championship.